Yo, what's up guys? This is Jordan from Some Guys From Palette bringing you another uh, episode to the Machu Region Challenge. This video is going to be for the 8th gym badge. Um, I recorded it as I was battling him but had some like difficulties with how the f file was created and stuff so it, it didn't allow me to upload it to YouTube. Um, so I'm just going to do post commentary instead. As you can see here, uh, oh wait, before then, uh, I have Raymond and Herman on Skype right now, so in case you hear them say anything dumb, that's them, okay? So, Herman, say hi. Penis. Yeah, of course, see, that's Herman. And Raymond is somewhere, I don't know, he's dead. Okay, but as you see here, it's a flying type gym leader, he has a Charizard, a Zapdos, um, Gyarados, Skalmory, Zatu, and Landorus. And I brought Greninja, Donphan, Tyranitar, Cloyster, uh, Gyarados, and Charizard. So let's get into it. Um, do, do, do. 17 moves, okay. He starts off with Inari, which is his um, Landorus. Just that this Landorus is an Ethereum form. It's the normal form, which kind of surprised me. He switches out because I started with Greninja. He was scared. He goes into Lap, uh, not Lap, Zapdos. I go for Ice Beam right away, and this is when I found out that Zapdos was uh, defensive, especially defensive. That is, HP and defense, special defense, because he ate up that Ice Beam. But he's at 25% now. I'm guessing he's probably a defogger, just because he was defensive. So he switches out Zapdos, seeing that he's not gonna eat up another Ice Beam. He might need him later. He switches into a Skalmory. I Ice Beam again, hoping that Zapdos to stay in. Ice Beam does, uh, wow, like 80% to the Skalmory. I Ice Beam again, it gets rid of Skalmory. So Greninja is putting in work right now. And uh, as you see, my Greninja is Life Orb. Charizard, he brings out Charizard. Shiny Charizard. He mega evolves into Charizard X. Doom, 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 doom. And I forget what I go for. Oh, Surf. I go for Surf here. For some odd reason. Um, and that does about 60% to Charizard. Charizard goes for Dragon Dance. Right here, I wasn't sure if he would outspeed Greninja after one Dragon Dance. Which I kind of messed up on, so he thunder punches, he kills my Greninja because I wasn't paying attention to speed tiers. So Greninja is down, he has one dragon dance up, I, he show, he exposes his thunder punch. And I send out Dawn Fan, he goes for Dragon Claw, he does about 60% to Dawn Fan. I go for Soft Rocks. What do you think so far, Herman? I'm I'm myself, so I, um, I don't know I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay. I, I shard just to get damage out there. I sack off Dawn Fan. He goes for another Dragon Claw. So, so far we see Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, and Thunder Punch. Um, I send out Cloyster. I thought this was the perfect chance to start setting up. <clears throat> so I go for a Shell Smash. He, his Thunder Punch leaves me at 4 HP, so it doesn't even break the Sash. Which is kind of sad after a plus 1, because of D-Dance. But that's none of my business. So I just go for Ice Cold Crash, because I did not want to miss Rock Blast, and Ice Cold Crash kills anyways. So... He sends out his Zatu. Right here is what freaking caught me off guard. His Zatsu, I was like, okay, I'll just Ice Cold Crash. Nope, he goes for Sucker Punch. I was not expecting a freaking Sucker Punch on Zatsu, okay? So, like, he just shut me out. He, like, shut out Cloyster. He was not gonna sweep. If I knew he had Sucker Punch, I would've just, uh, uh, what's it called? I sharded. But I wasn't expecting that. So I send out Charizard Y. I Mega Evolve. Um, bring out the Sun, of course. And I just go for Flamethrower, because Air Slash isn't worth it. And Flamethrower does more anyways. So Zatu is down. Uh, Skullmarine is down. He sends out Zapdos. South takes Stealth Rock damage. He's left at like maybe 5%. 
Charizard out speeds. Uh, I think it was a speed tie here, so it was just really whoever got the luck on their side. So Charizard kills this flamethrower. He sends out Inari, his Landris, which right here, Landris outspeeds by one base point, and it goes for Psychic. If you were, I told him, if you're a physical Landris, if he, he and go for Rock Slide, he would. He had a good chance of winning this match, which is kind of spoiler. Now you know I won the match. Whatever. I go for Sol Solar Beam, take down his Landorus. His special attacking Landorus, it kind of threw me off. Uh, he sends out Gyarados. And I go for Solar Beam again. And he kind of eats it up. He goes for a Dragon Dance. And here... Oh, sorry. I, I kind of got mistaken again. I thought Charizard would outspeed after a Dragon Dance, but no, he doesn't. So Gyarados goes for Waterfall and kills. He gets that Moxie boost. Right when he gets that Moxie boost, the sun fades. Really helpful, I swear. So I send out my Gyarados, seeing that he has plus one speed. My Gyarados outspeeds because I'm Scarfed, of course, the Kraken. Okay, I go for Waterfall, which doesn't kill. He goes for another Dragon Dance, which kind of scares me. <clears throat> so he's left at like maybe 3 HP or something. He has he has a plus 2 speed and plus 3 attack right now. Gyarados and my Gyarados eats it up. I go for Waterfall for the kill. I get that Moxie boost going. Who does he have left? I forget. Was that it? Oh yeah, that was it. Okay, then no Moxie boost. But yeah, that is our 8th gym badge, guys. Um, I apologize that I couldn't get the live gameplay, just because the file messed up, as I said. But yeah, now we have a chance of um, going against Elite Four. Uh, oh yeah, I did mention that. I didn't. Well, I'm not going to be getting all the badges like I mentioned in my previous videos, because that's too many typing. That's like 17 badges. I wouldn't want to hold you guys for that. So, um, I'm going to see if we're going to end up facing Team Jenico or not uh, before we go against Elite Four just to see what's up because we haven't battled them yet on this channel. They haven't challenged me. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, so, yeah, next time I'll be see it'll either be an Elite Four challenge or a Team Jenico match. Um, so, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.